What's the word, man? Today I bought an 07 Chevy Tahoe with the Z71 package. I never test drove it. I never seen it in person, so it's pretty much like a blind date. I did see some pictures online. I bought it at the Mannheim auction. I'm a car dealer out of Chicago, so it's about a two-hour drive. I'm going to grab a couple of the guys, hop in the Silverado, take a ride up there. I'll let you know that I mess up the bag or that I buy a winner. I'll let you know when I get back. I'm going to holler at y'all. Alright, we made it back after our short journey, no problems on the highway, so that was pretty good. So the main question is, was the Tahoe any good or did I blow the bag, did I waste the money? And to be honest with you, it's pretty good, man, for a 13-year-old truck. I figured it would be. I checked the Carfax and um, the service records, lots of service records from the Chevy dealership, so that's good. On a scale of 1 to 10, I'd probably give it like an 8 in my opinion. I see a couple things that can be fixed, but overall, pretty damn good. Engine and trance, they perform to my liking, so that's always a good thing. And um only thing I really noticed just a couple cosmetic issues. The body is pretty clean overall though. Not too many dents, scratches or whatever. I should say not knowing major dents. Not more than the usual, you know, for O seven and it's black, so that's a hard color to keep clean, maintain anyway. You can see every little scratch as you see it's a scratch right there, not bad. Um the bumper. It's kind of oxidized, none of the little compound polished wax can't fix, you know. Yeah, so, you know, I can't teach you all my tricks, but I teach you a few. But anyway, it's got uh, all this badging still on it. You see the towel badge, none of the letters missing, so that's good, too. I be checking for little stuff like that, like anything that the eye can see. You can see, like, the little, little smudge right there. I take some compound, get that out, little smudge right here. That one's kind of bad. Uh, you see a little chip in the paint, so I'm gonna do my best to, you know, get it get it up to my standards and to where I like it. Anybody else probably wouldn't even notice it, but uh, I'm real kind of picky with it, cause you know I like I like nice cars, man. You know I like them clean, and when I pull up, I like them to look good. So it is what it is. Uh, what else I noticed? Uh, oh, this windshield, it's got a little crack in it. You can see not bad, but eventually it could start to spread and. 
I don't I don't like that when the windshield spread, so that's definitely got to be replaced. I'm going to check around for a price. I think I get it for about 125 though. So if I could find one for about 125 that would be good. That will fix that. And uh, as far as the wheels, the wheels, they are okay. The tires are good, but as far as the rims, I don't really care for. So definitely we'll be swapping them out, changing them with some probably some replicas. I might do some 24s. I, I don't want to go too crazy like some. Eight to some thirties, man. That ain't that ain't really my style. I'm getting I'm getting kind of old for that, so I don't know. But uh, I see the headlights. You know they kind of a little oxidized on the headlights, so we probably swap them out too. Get some aftermarket, some little LEDs, and you know we're gonna hook up, have a look at right. So when she hit the streets, you know she turned her head, so she kind of head turning now. But when when we put our little touches on it, we'll we'll get it better than before, man. And, just do our little things. I see a little, couple little chips in the hood, little uh, rock chips in the hood. So, you know, it is what it is, man. Overall, I'm pretty happy with it, man. And Tahoe's a pretty good truck. It's not my first one, and I'm sure it's not going to be my last. Of course, I like to switch and get that 2015 body, but it takes time to work up there, get the money right, you know. And as you can see, I got a C7, so, you know, the money just... Pretty much goes into her. And of course, all my cars are paid for because, you know, I own a dealership like I stated before. So, um, I probably can't get something newer. Uh, but I don't, I can't see myself going into uh, one of these big dealerships and actually paying a note on a brand new car, giving them the money. It just don't make sense to me. It's like it's taken away from my business just to get a car, you know, unless I was leasing one for the business. But yeah, so anyway, I just kind of stick with, you know, with the cars I know, man, uh, that's why I named my channel SS Family, because I, you know, I'm a Chevy head, man, that's that's what I grew up with, that's what my pops was into, so, but yeah, back to the truck, like, you can see, uh, man, the truck is pretty solid, man, um, the rear hatch opens, no problem, as soon as you hit the button, sometimes I run into little complications with some of them, like a Yukon Denali I had before, it won't open, and um, I think I had a Cadillac with the same problem, but uh, this one seems pretty solid from the hatch, and you can see they, uh, they threw the back seats in there uh, right before they sold it. I just got to lock them down in a place. So it's pretty good. It's got the third row, and, you know, that's always useful. So definitely excited about it, man. Definitely excited about getting it together, man. So definitely stay in tune with the channel, man. SS Family, man. But, yeah, we'll move on. I'll show you all the interior. Interior is not bad at all. Just maybe the driver's seat and maybe the armrest, uh, let me show you the minute. I'm reaching for my key file, what I was actually doing in the video. So that's what's taking me a little minute. But as you can see, the seat is kind of worn out. And then if I come down here and zoom in, you can see the cushions kind of hanging out. I've seen them on uh, other Tahoe's before, especially in this uh, 07 through the through the 14 year range. So that's not bad. You can see that the armrest has a crack on it. I'll be able to change that for a pretty good price. It's, it's nothing really to it. It's it's a Chevy, so parts are plentiful, and it's you can fix them up to your liking. And had no problems, no issue finding parts, nothing like that. So we definitely gonna get it together and have a looking beautiful. Now on the way back, one of the guys he was actually driving the truck, so I was actually in my Silverado, um, doing all the taping. So I didn't really notice a lot of stuff, but as I'm looking at it now, I know it's like you know see the climate control is kind of faded. It's just a lot of typical stuff that you see in these uh, Tahoe, Suburbans, Yukons. Uh, not so much the Escalade because the climate control is changing them. But um, just like a bunch, you know, the Chevys and the GMCs, they usually have typically the same wear and tear or whatever. So the truck actually has uh, 173 and uh, that's it's a lot of miles, but it's okay for a Tahoe, man. I, I done seen Tahoes with 300,000 miles on it still running in. They they just they unbelievable trucks. They they last a long time. If you do got major issues, they easy to fix. So I'm looking at the leather interior. Seats are pretty good. Everything looks pretty good, man. Uh, radio works good. Uh, I did notice that uh, my reverse camera is kind of faded. It's going out, so I might have to replace that. Just a little typical stuff. We'll get it together. All the switches seem to work pretty good. I hit the switches. Uh. Either for the windows or sad, sad windows, I'm trying to say. And they come right in. You hit them again, they come right out. So that's good. That's another thing I ain't got to fix. Because 
sometimes they be they be effed up too. So you know, so let me try to um, the sunroof. See if that's cool. Hit the button for that. See if that open. All right, let's see if it closed. Cause sometimes they open and don't close. Then we got a whole nother problem. So that one seems to close. So that's good. And uh, I'm just gonna pull this little visor up, shade, whatever it's called. Pull that up. Stop the sun from coming in. But yeah, man. Uh, man, uh, I'm enjoying it. You know, it's got the captain seats in the back, and I would have took the role either. Either way, it's fine. I don't got a lot of people. I don't. I don't got a lot of kids, so. The captain chairs will work fine, but third row, that'll work fine. So, all that is good. And let's check the windows out. That's what I need to check. See if the back one work. Check this one. That one's cool. Driver. And then the last one behind me. That's good. So, all the windows work. Ain't got to do no regulators or change the switches out and all that. So, it's pretty good, man. For oh, like I said, man, for a truck that was built in '07, it's 2020 now. She held up pretty good. Whoever had it, I could tell they they kept up with it. They kept it in pretty good shape. They kept it serviced, and you know anything that it needed, and just just kept it going, maintained, and did what it was supposed to do. The heated seats even work. I tried them. When the time's coming up, so we definitely gonna need it. It's definitely four wheel drive. I'm in the Midwest, like I said, I'm in Chicago area. No way I buy a truck with a two wheel driver, cause the snow. I mean, I I, I have had one in, in in the winter time with two wheel drive. They it's not that bad, but I prefer a four wheel. So that's it, and just majorly got to do a detail. And you see papers everywhere. Half of that stuff is from me, so I'm gonna get it cleaned up, shined up, and definitely get ready to you know make some more content with a man and. I'm I'm gonna enjoy this process because I love like taking cars, fixing them up, especially Chevys, and that's just my thing. It's been my thing for years, and I enjoy selling them and just the whole aspect of you know just cars. Period. So it's definitely gonna be a journey. Eventually, we're gonna get them together. I'm gonna show you some content with the C7, and I think you guys really like that, and we'll just make it happen. Do what it do. Yeah. So the 07 Tahoe Z71, it was pretty good. I got some more content coming for y'all, so sit back and watch out.